Yasna Beheshti, and I'm one of the board members of the ICC. I am delighted to be your host this evening. As you may know, the ICC is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization committed to improving the lives of Iranians in Canada and promoting the involvement and promoting their involvement in Canadian society. I would like to introduce Dr. Fadro Sandi, who is a, a professor of economics at the Schulich School of Business and the president of the ICC, to share a few thoughts on the significance of the ICC. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you and a warm welcome the board of ICC as we celebrate the first ICC end year gathering. Karama Ayan, Baduruta, Shabekir, Astu Koshibani, Shoma, Kibabuzur Kotetan, the Mohe Bros Kandi, it's a boss design. My name is Farah Zandi, and I'm the president, current president of ICC. It is an honor for the ICC to have your presence at this fundraising event. Such display of uh, support for this organization is most heartening and encouraging. I dare assume <coughs> that the recent changes in the leadership at the ICC's Board of Directors in month of May of 2012 and its new initiatives as supported by its newly installed advisory board must have generated considerable positive influence to bring about a broadly based support that we have been receiving from the community in the last seven months and are particularly witnessing tonight. Five years ago, thanks to tremendous efforts by a small number of dedicated visionaries within our community, some of whom are present here tonight, the Iranian Canadian Congress of the ICC was founded. The Iranian Canadian Congress is not for profit, non-partisan, and non-religious organization, which is bound by the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The ICC is dedicated to improving the lives of Iranian Canadians by promoting and protecting their rights and interests and encouraging the participation in Canadian society and effective engagement of community members to build membership, membership and teamwork to serve the community. The ICC is committed to build mechanisms for cooperation between Iranian Canadians and the Canadian society to promote the strength, cross-cultural harmony, and to advance tolerance, understanding, and goodwill among all segments of the multicultural Canadian society. for your continued dedication to building a strong, united, and purpose in Canada. Congratulations on your first five years, but indeed you have a lot of work ahead of you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here this evening. It's truly a great pleasure to see that such a big turnout to support the Iranian Canadian Congress. I would like to begin by thanking the founders of the Iranian Canadian Congress, in particular, uh, Mr. Saeed Hariri, who is, I saw him around here, the first president of the And those friends and colleagues uh, and fellow Canadians who put their energy, time, effort to establish this wonderful organization, Iranian Canadian Congress. I remember the Congress uh, established in 2006 7. 
2007, and, and that is the year I was elected to the Ontario legislature, and basically this coincided with my uh, political activities. And uh, I've been witnessing since then the uh, ups and downs which this wonderful organization has seen. The last board, the General Assembly, or AGM, of the, uh, of the Association of the Canadian Congress was very remarkable. After a few years of stagnation, more or less, the Iranians of the GTA, they came out at the North York uh, Civic Center in hundreds and they supported this wonderful organization and they elected such a very high profile board. I mean, when you look at the quality of the members of the board of directors of this Congress, it's top-notch boards. You can see that they're all doctors, lawyers, very experienced people, and above all, very credible and well-respected members of the Iranian Canadian community. So I thank them from the bottom of my heart, and I congratulate our community who came out and supported this wonderful organization, who is speaking on behalf of all of us as Canadians in this wonderful country of us, Canada. I'm uh, really thrilled to see uh, such, uh, uh, such successful initiative since uh, now many years by the Iranian community of Toronto. As a community activist of Montreal long before, uh, of course I would have liked that Montreal can accompany the initiative, the strength with which the Iranian community of Toronto is organized. My, uh the leader of the federal NDP, Tom O'Care, sends his greetings and he also asked me if I could say a few words to you on a theme that I know is uh, part of the uh, ICC's uh, priorities, that's democratic engagement. Uh, I want to start by first saying that I've had the good fortune and privilege to be Jack Layton's successor in Toronto Danforth. Good evening, my name is Michael Coto and uh, I'd like to uh, thank the ICC for having me here this evening. I'd also like to uh, thank uh, Dr. Moretti for his work at the Ontario Legislative Assembly. I sit right next to him uh, in the Legislative Assembly and uh, being a new member of Provincial Parliament, it's always a pleasure to get great advice from someone who has uh, such great experience. And I have a very large uh, Persian population in my riding, Don Valley East along the uh, Donnells Corridor. And it's, uh, it's great to have a representative uh, from the Iranian community in the legislature.